with a series of screencasts that are meant to supplement the managerial accounting course. For the first week, I've prepared five screencasts. The first one will take a quick look at the formatting of the income statement. Next, we will review the use of T accounts. After that, a quick look at the distinction between product and period cost course. Examples of cost definitions commonly used in managerial accounting. And the final screencast will be an example of how cost flows move between various inventory accounts. I assume that you've seen most of this material in a prior course. However, it is very important that you have a good working knowledge of these topics as we get started. So let's start off with looking at the income statement. Now the income statement most of you are familiar with is the income statement that we learn from our financial accounting classes in which we follow generally accepted accounting principles and that gives us a formatting of revenue minus cost of goods sold equals gross margin subtract off operating expenses and we're left with operating income. What's interesting about this is that the various types of costs are really categorized in, into either product costs or period costs and that's important for financial accounting because it helps implement the matching principle. However, in managerial accounting we're often more interested in the nature of costs and by that we mean whether costs are variable or fixed and of course either product cost or period costs can have fixed components and variable components. In order to emphasize the variable or fixed nature of costs we reformat the income statement in managerial accounting and often use what's called either a variable costing or contribution margin formatting. Here we have revenue minus variable cost equal contribution margin. Then we subtract off fixed costs to get at operating income. So what you can see here then is that we've gathered together all the variable costs and all of the fixed costs regardless of whether the, those costs are manufacturing or operating costs. Now this formatting turns out to be very important and something we will use frequently in the remainder of the course. The next screencast will take a look at T accounts.